Hi there and um, welcome to this second normal form example video. If you want to go through second normal form in much more detail explaining some of the techniques we're using here then by all means have a look at the uh, second normal form understanding second normal form video uh, that was done previously in this playlist. So let's have a look at second normal form. So first off the first rule is here is it in first normal form. Now my normalization here I've already created my first normal form we can see that's the case I go into my data here I can see there are no repeating groups and all of my uh, attributes are atomic so yes I am in first normal form so that's the first thing here next up is it says all non key attributes are dependent on all parts of the primary key so this um, as discussed previously second normal form is only applying to tables with a composite key. So I already know that my table here that doesn't have a composite key is already in second normal form. So I'm going to place that over here. So that's already in second normal form. So I'm only concerned with my other table with the composite key. And for that I'm going to need to have a look at the data. Now what I need to look at here is within this table do I have any non-key attributes so these are the non-key attributes these three and are they dependent on only part of the primary key? Well if I have a look at um, pizza name now pizza name the first one we'll have a look at is dependent on or seems to be dependent on just the pizza code so for example if I take a look at the meat feast pizza here now if I change the order number to 1251 then the order number changes and yet meat feast stays the same because it's dependent on just the pizza code so in this scenario pizza name is going to be put into another table so I'll sort that out in a second let's have a look at the others so quantity now quantity is going to be different for different orders okay so depending on the order and which pizza you're choosing it could be a different quantity so in this case that is to do with both of them together the order and the pizza that's chosen okay determine the quantity so that one is staying with these two so that's quantity belongs to both of those so that's fine now price if we have a look at the price here now the price doesn't belong or well Let's have a look if we've got the, the price here we've got meat feast here and uh, we've got one quantity so we've ordered one meat feast and the price is six pounds fifty and we've ordered two meat feast down here and the price is six pounds fifty so what's actually happening here is this price isn't to do with the um, pizza code and the order and the quantity that have been ordered it's it belongs to the pizza itself so similar to pizza name the price doesn't change even when the order code does okay it belongs to the pizza code it's, de it's dependent upon that so pizza code okay we have pizza name and price that are only dependent upon pizza code so those three we're going to or those two we're going to take out so let's have a look at how that works so I'm going to take out that and take out the price Okay, I'm going to move this over. Okay, and I take out a copy. When I take these out, I take out a copy of the key that it was dependent upon, which in this case is the pizza code. So I paste that there. Right. Now that's fine. I've got all my information up here with regards to the pizza codes and how many were ordered. So down here, I can remove any duplicates, which in this case is just the meat feast. So I'm going to take that one out. Okay, and that's left me with my table there. And pizza code is going to be the primary key for this. So let's see how that works in our normalization. So in normalization here, I have my fields for the key. So I'm going to copy these across. Oh, let's do that a second. Paste just the values. Okay, and the quantity wasn't it that stayed the same so that's going in here 
okay and then I take out the pizza code pizza name and the price so put these in there with the price okay so I've now removed any non or partial part key dependencies so if I go back to my tick list so all non key attributes are now dependent on all parts of the primary key each field has a unique name uh, yes so let's just check that so pizza code pizza name price order number pizza code quantity yep these are fine we already checked the others before so that's fine Okay, and all tables have a primary key, so let's just check that. So it's noted on there, and it's noted on there in terms of underlining. In my normalization here, I have primary key there and primary key there. So yes, that's the case as well. So that's how I've got my table into second normal form.